loosen up the neck. Ooh. Get rid of that stress at the top. Movement. Don't whip your head around too hard. <laughs> and let's get those shoulder rolls. WWE chair to smack down on some fools. Yep. <laughs> this is not our first time with this chair. <laughs> Forward. If only we had a partner for this workout. <laughs> Arm circles. And go on the other way around. Get that out of the way. Side to side, twisting up the torso. And we're also keeping our warm up nice and simple. That's burning. <laughs> All the way. And into our waist. Loosen up those fingers, wrists, elbows. Yes. <laughs> I'd be concerned if the bone was burning. Muscle burning is definitely normal. Alright, go over the back hinge. And long hips, hip rotation. Side. 10 and final 
direction. Joints are ready. Let's uh, warm up some of the muscles as well. We do like the body weight variations without the chair first. Just to go through some movements, we'll do. Uh, let's just do 10 reps. Start off with regular push ups, whether on your toes or on your knees. Three is going to be split squats. Uh, we're just going to do them on the floor first. So one leg forward, one leg back. And just going into that split squat. Maintaining that balance, of course. Bring that rear knee down towards the floor, right underneath your hip. Try to keep that front knee above the ankle. Looking straight forward. Keep that nice tall posture. And feel those quads. And other stance. some elevated crunches. So, on our back, knees up, and then raise. It's time to hydrate! I'll get the hydrate after we finish the warm up. So, hands by the ear, three way crunch. We're going both elbow to the knee, and cross, and cross. Forward, cross, and cross. Forward, cross, and cross. for that hydrate. I will get that after. All right, glute bridges. We'll just do regular glute bridges on our back. Heels in, raise those hips up, squeeze the glutes. Hold it for a second and slowly back down. your stream hoity gotta get ready for bed already i thought you were gonna join in for the workout perfect time shout out to hoity he was just just chatting all right we got our shoulder taps plank position 10 bears Nice straight plank. And attack. <clears throat> Got an early morning tomorrow. Cover for your boss. You're the boss now. 
Okay, loaded sit ups and press. We'll just do sit ups with straight arms, overhead. Okay, control from the core. Training RDL rows. Can't do crunches, don't worry about it. You don't have to do a full setup. Or if you need to modify for a different core exercise, go for it. Alright, let's do toe touches. Uh, let's stay on one leg. Stay on the left leg, right leg up. If I hip hinge. Toe touch. I'm gonna work that balance as I drop my feet. But if you need to drop it, go for it. Like so. Otherwise, try to keep it in the air. And if you're still having difficulties, you can plant that leg at the back. Try to work your way towards it. Really grip the floor with all our toes. Don't rush it. Plank though, yeah, you can do a decline plank. Alright, let's get into it. So, fairly short one, just eight exercise, back to back, 45 seconds each, 15 seconds rest in between, three rounds total. We'll take 90 seconds between each round. So, total under 30 minutes. Let's get this. Count down. Let's go. Start off with either incline or decline push ups. So, harder version, obviously, feet on the chair. If you want to keep it, or if you're still working on push up onto your toes, have your hands on the chair. Bring that chest through the chair. Okay. I'm working that chest and tricep. If you're up for it, that decline push up. Harder version. But get that chest through the floor. Get that full range of motion. Push up. Keep that core engaged. That back should still be flat. Top. All right, 115 BPM. I'm almost there too. All right, split squat, left feet on the floor, right feet on the chair. Let's go. Okay, all the weight should be on the front leg. Working the balance, working the quads, hip flexors. Some calves, abductors. Some glutes as well. Just saying that people have 
That's that squat sound of my cardio. Whew. Shake it off. Other side. Right. Feet on the floor. Left feet up. Let's go. So I bring that rear knee down towards the floor. I like to keep the ball of my feet on the chair for a better balance. But for some people who don't have that ankle mobility, you can use the top of your feet on the chair as well. Whichever works best for you. Personally, I like to keep the ball of my feet so I can actually push down for more balance. Fine. Hit a B. Hello, hello. Thank you. Uh, we are now three way elevated crunch. Heel up on the chair. Do that nine degrees. Crunch. Three ways. Forward and cross it over. Bring the shoulder off the floor. Working multi direction at the core. Try to breathe out as you crunch up. Crossing over is too difficult, just stick with the regular crunch up. Nice, there you go. Keep it up, skirt grow. Elevated good bridges, keep the heels there. And raise those hips. Ride those heels down. Feeling the hamstring. Really squeeze the glutes. You don't want to be feeling in the back. You want to put it all in the glutes and hammies. Control on the way down. Keeping the tension. Feeling it. <laughs> people get jealous of other people's calves. Alright, decline shoulder taps. Feet up. Start in that plank position. Boom. Boom. Maintain that strong core. Working the shoulders and core. This is too hard. You could do it on the incline if you need to, or regular plank. Really push down with your hand to balance. But go for the challenge. Even if you do a few reps, you're still working hard. Loaded sit ups and press. I'm gonna hold it like so. Sit up and press. If that chair is too heavy, just keep it loaded. Or if your chair is super heavy, you can do it without the chair. If you have a foldable chair, it might be a little bit easier. Try it out. Do 
alternating RDLs. We're gonna add a row. Single leg, roll to your chest, and reset. Switch legs. Might be easier if you're taller. So the legs don't hit the floor. Again, if you're a chair and fold, then this might be a little bit easier. Posterior chain, hamstring, glutes, and back muscles. Just like that, round one is done. Thank you again, Hitabi, for the good job and encouragement. I am 5'3. <laughs> I'm 5'3 short. It's got its benefits, but not much. Short, I'm short of uh, benefits. <laughs> but it does make stuff like deadlifts easier, since the range of motion is a lot less. You thought I was taller? <laughs> I wish. Man doesn't have to break his back to grab things on the floor. Exactly. <laughs> All right, round two coming up. Put the chair on this side this time. Just change the angle a little bit. Decline or incline push ups. Let's go. <sighs> Breathe in as you come down. Breathe out as you push up. Find that rhythm. That's it. Split squats next. It's hard trying to find size 14 US shoes. Oh. Smaller shoes are also hard to find. Left feet on the floor. But sometimes the benefit of being a lot smaller, you can shop at the kids section. <laughs> Here where I live, you can also save on some tax. Kids' clothes pay less tax. to build the foundation on the single leg. Because the stronger you get on each leg, the better your regular squats. It's 
It's all about having that strong base foundation. All right, branches next. You have to get a size up from your shirt just so they can fit your shirt. Yeah. Crunches, straight and cross. Woo. These are tough. support and you can also push down with your hands or fingers or even just your elbows ones you don't want to rotate your body too much keep it as still as you can really push down with that supporting hand spread those fingers out also helps to squeeze the glutes as well RDLs plus the world. Single leg, if you can. If you're really losing the bounce, step back. Hair is starting to feel heavy. Uh. 
Just doing some of these one leg, one arm and one leg. Yeah. It's muscle imbalance is a common thing. <laughs> Your good side is always a little more toned. All right, use this break. Get some water. Deep breaths, walk it off. Shake off those arms, shake off those legs. Wind down time. <laughs> That's it. Getting my heart rate down. Let's try to get it under, under 100. This one is more strength based. Uh, isn't really any uh, cardio movements, except for squats. 10 seconds. Let's get those push-ups. Put a few uh, decline planks. If it's too hard on your wrist, you can do regular or do it incline. Good side through this door. There you go. Get that work done. If you're sore, you're working. Okay. Keep looking forward, straight ahead. You can use those arms for counterbalance. If it's easier, you can put them at the hips. Or you can put them forward, you can cross your arms, or swing them, or like you're walking. Oh, I like this one. This one feels a little natural. And let's bounce it on the other side. I'm also feeling my glutes. Let's go. Just like this, nice and simple. Nothing complex about this. And if you need a higher intensity, of course you can carry some weights. You got dumbbells, kettlebells, whatever. Or even just a backpack. You don't have gym equipment. Having a bag is nice. You can fill it up with anything. <sighs> Lunches time. Using your cane to stretch for ooh. Sounds really good. Crunches! Up. Cross. Cross. Yeah. Keep those heels on the chair. Oh, a 
we'll do blueberries. Take a quick 15 second nap. <laughs> Let's go, back to work. Again, control on the way down. Don't let those hips just drop. Control, keep the tension. Again, with these, breathe out as you raise up. Breathe in as you come down. More exercises. Set up. If you're laying there. <laughs> all right. Got clients all the time laying on the floor right after an exercise. <laughs> well, just give me a minute. All good. There it is, eight exercises, full body, your upper, lower, core, just like that, simple. <clears throat> oh, 
right. Let's stretch it off. Stretch it out before we go. Um, now let's lace our fingers together, pushing our palms forward. Stretch out my fingers, wrists, forearms. It's really good if you have been doing all the decline variations. And straight over it. But yeah, thank you for following along, Scarecrow. Girl. You do what you can. Side. Shoulder stretch all the way down to the sides. Relax the hips to the side forward. And down to the right side. You can attempt to go a little bit deeper as you breathe out. Back to the center. Slightly backwards, stretching the core. Okay, it's a slight backwards. Make sure you feel it in the core and not the back. If you're feeling in the lower back, you're going too far back. Slowly releasing. Placing our fingers behind the back, shoulders back and down. Looking on up, really open up that chest. Bring that lefty down. 
There we have it. Simple, short, and sweet chair workout for body strength. Hope you guys enjoy that. And uh, we'll be back next week for another equipment-based workout. Uh, we'll be using a traditional gym equipment. Haven't decided to use which one yet, but uh, yeah, let me know if you have any suggestions on what you want to see next.